Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm a trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of USD, JPY, US dollar, Japanese yen. So if you're watching my videos for the first time, then please subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis and do check out the Forex analysis playlist on my YouTube channel for the analysis of other pairs like Euro, USD, GBP, USD, Gold, USD and many more. So let's get started. So this is the photo chart of USD, JPY in front of us right now. My dear friends, if you are looking for detailed analysis, then please watch the video on USDJPY that I uploaded on Saturday because I have done a detailed analysis and I have shared everything possible from my side. In this video, I do not want to repeat the same stuff because I do not want to bore you again. <laughs> so I will just uh, keep the video short and I'll just explain what are the trading possibilities here. Okay. So first of all, you can see that expert or expectation market is coming down. Market is slowly approaching the support of 113.40. 113.40. So first of all, keep in mind that 113.40 may be a support for the market, but market has been testing this level too many times. And as I always say, if you find market testing a level too many times, the level slowly and slowly loses its strength. Therefore, when market will be approaching the level of 113.40 observe the price for at least one hour and see whether market is taking successfully supported or not if you find that successfully market is taking support at 113.40 level you can go for buy then only after proper confirmation clear if market fails to take support and if market breaks the support and goes down you can take a sell position but again you need to wait for one hour because because yes the support may be losing its strength but apart from the support this is also the this is also the 23.6 percent fibonacci retracement level therefore if market breaks the level of 113.40 observe the price if you see that the size of the candles are not good enough then avoid it because for proper breakout yes listen to me carefully for proper breakout we need the support of volume price plus volume okay price plus volume then only we will consider it as a proper breakout if you see that yes market is going down with a big fat red candle then you will understand that yes price has the support of volume there is participation of the traders and then you can take the sell position but on the other hand if you find that market is forming small small tiny tiny candles leave it it means that price does not have the support of volume okay so that is our second trading opportunity shorting the market below 113.40 level and on the other hand if market goes up from here so if market tries to recover from here then observe the price at 114.30 level 114.30 level this is the mm, resistance for us again market you can clearly see that market has been testing this level too many times so before shorting the market before taking a sell position at 114.30 observe the market if you find market forming a shooting star kind of a pattern or if you see price is being rejected from above then only click on the sell button okay if market breaks the level and starts going up again the same theory applies wait for one or two hours four hours five hours whatever and just observe the price if you see that after three to four hours market is trading comfortably above 114.30 then only click on the buy button why i'm uh, <coughs> suggesting trading at both the support resistance because this is a sideways market it is a sideways market i have talked in detail about uh, the trend and all everything in my previous video you can watch it okay this is a sideways market here at this uh, portion of the right now we have a sideways market therefore we uh, have trading opportunities at both the sides that's it <laughs> bye bye take care see you tomorrow